Silence is in my head right now. I cannot. I'm a little hurt. I don't even know what to say, man. Like, I, don't, I have no idea. Um, I don't, this is, um, this is baffling to me, man. One of the best teams Cal's had in a long time. Players, shooters, everything. Freshmen of the year, six men of the year, SEC all, all team. And this is what we get. This is, um, this is, um, this is what you get. The Kentucky Wildcats. I can't even use the word, I, can I, I can't even use the word fault, man. I can't even use the word fault. Like, where, like, where was our Kentucky Wildcats in the first 20 minutes of the whole ball game? Actually, where was our Wildcats in the first 30 minutes of the ball game? Like, where was they? Where was our guys at? I mean, didn't they know? Didn't they understand that they was going to Philadelphia or Pittsburgh to play in the NCAA March Madness? Didn't our team understand? that Oakland was coming to play? Did not team understand that, that, that Oakland had nothing to lose if they lost? And so what, we lost to Kentucky? I mean, did not guys understand exactly what they was doing when they got on that bus? I tell you what, man, we had some very, very uncharacteristic play from a lot of players tonight. From a lot of players, just like turnovers, bad passes, just nonchalant. Was the stage too big for, for a lot of these guys? Was the stage just too big? Like, we just got our butt handed to us just a few days ago. The committee still gives us a, the benefit of the doubt. They still give us the benefit of the doubt. And what do we do? We come out and we played ball like we didn't care. Like it just didn't matter that we was going to play Oakland and they only supposedly had one player that can score and he killed us. Absolutely killed us. And then they let other people have confidence too as well. They let him poke his chest out against us. Hats off to the young man. Hey, the guy can ball, man. The guy, the guy can shoot that three. You don't see it. You don't understand it until you actually play against it. So it's, it's the real thing. But I cannot believe, I cannot believe. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm a, I'm a grown man, dude. I don't care. I ain't crying, man. Cause I'm, cause I'm, I'm, I'm too, um, um, I'm, I'm too upset, man. Fire might roll out of my eyes if I cry. This is a Kentucky came in. This is the game they wanted to play. Our guys came in. They didn't play like they wanted to play. They act like they wasn't interested. Like, are they tired? Like, are they sick? Are they upset? This is, come on. Well, the question is, wow, the question is, was that it for Calipari? Did Calipari coach his last game for Kentucky? Did he, is, does Mitch Barnhart have to say, Calipari, we're going to move on in a different direction. We'll find money to pay you your payout. We just, we can't do this anymore. We can't do this anymore. It's that time to have that closed door talk. It's that time. And I've always been a supporter of Calipari. 
I've always been a supporter of Calipari. Maybe some of those guys are not ready to go pro after all. Maybe the hype was too much. You know, maybe, you know, maybe um, I don't have any maybes. There's no maybes out there. There's no excuses. Kentucky got their butts handed to them, and they couldn't beat Oakland, a number 14 seed. SEC is 0 for 3 today. I was hoping, just hoping, that maybe that maybe Kentucky out of the SEC would advance, would get wins. Nope. Kentucky had to follow the trend. Trend? What did we just watch? What was that, man? Like, like what was that? Somebody need to take Calipari inside the room and talk to him. They need to talk to him. A couple guys who just the stage. Guys want to go to the NBA. And they think this stage is big. They think this is big. When they get to play a game and go back to the classroom. I don't know, man. Cal, maybe, you know, keep recruiting. Keep him in the front office of the basketball, running run basketball operations or something. But Calipari, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I don't. We got to win. There's no way that you tell people to come to Pittsburgh to, I mean, um, um, yeah, to, to wherever. You tell those guys to come and watch Kentucky play because we're going to put on a show, and this is the show we put on. Oh, 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 we put on a show, all right. We stunk it up. Completely just stunk it up. Period. No and ifs about it. That is that is exactly what we just did. And this is unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. No excuses whatsoever. We just got our butts handed to us. And we just got to take it like a man. I turned it off. I still, to this day, have not watched the ending of the St. Peter's game. I did not watch the ending of this game. I cannot. I will not ever see the look on Kentucky's face when they go down for a game like this. I turn it off, man. This hurts my soul. It just hurts so bad. It's over, man. It's over. Like, just put everything away. Put, put Kentucky away. And we'll see you in August. Because it's over. I may not watch another basketball game rest of the year, man. I can't, I, I, I can't bring myself to watch some more basketball. This is ridiculous, man. This is um this is ridiculous. Like there's there's no explanations for this. You can't go to the you can't go to the podium and say what we should have done. Cause we didn't do. You got 40 minutes to put it all together. 40 minutes. That's all you get, like everybody else. You get 40 minutes to put it together. And you can't put it together in 40, in 40 minutes. Move on. Just move on. It's amazing how Oakland's coach talks smack about us as a team, about our bigs. I guess he's right. I guess that's what it is. Because we got, like, like we got, like, nothing. Couldn't hit a shot. Couldn't make a pass. Couldn't catch the ball. Like, come on, man. It's Oakland we playing. It's Oakland, man. Well, if hey, if, if Cal knows that these freshmen need more than one year, then Cal shouldn't push them out the door. Cal shouldn't recruit at a high level. Cal should be like, hey, I'm going to try to keep some of these guys around. But I get it, though. I get it. I understand. This is um, – this is just this is um, this is one of those losses, man. And this is this is horrible. This is worse than St. Peter's because we knew we knew we had a really solid team this year. We know we had every all the pieces in place that we freaked, that we thought we needed. It's a couple of people that need to come on back next year. So a couple of people need to come on back next year. They need to go. To, they need to fly home tonight, and they need to be in the weight room by tomorrow morning. 
I leave that at that. Don't go to the pro. You can't handle it. Don't go to the pro. If you can't, if you can't even stop open from beating you, don't go to the pro yet. You ain't ready for that. Transfer. I can tell you right now, Burks is gonna transfer. He's not gonna sit on the bench and watch that and Cal don't play me the whole ball game. Then I'm supposed to just be okay with that. He's leaving. You know? Well, that's $33 million that that you know that the University of Kentucky is gonna to have to highly consider. Are we ready to foot this bill? It's just a bill that we're ready to foot, that we're ready to pay. Because it ain't happy. I was hoping for couches being burnt in Lexington because we brought home the championship. That's what that's what I was hoping about. That's what I was hoping to see. I was hoping we was going to see that. Nope. Didn't see it. Ain't going to see it this year. And they burn the couches because they're angry. Rightfully so. They should be angry. But, hey, what do we say? What do we say next year? We'll get them next year. Why not? Next year we'll get them. No problem. We'll get them next year. Absolutely. We will get them next year. Nobody wants to hear that no more, man. Like nobody wants to hear that anymore. We don't want to hear next year. I'm ready for these comments. Are you ready for any of these comments? I am. It, it is what it is, man. The comments would look. If it's your first time watching, okay? If this is your first time watching, you can comment. Just keep it clean. That's all I ask on my on my on my show. You can comment. You can um um you can voice your opinion. It's it's okay. No problem. You can voice your opinion. Just keep it clean. I get it, man. Like, why why wouldn't a true UK fan be angry about what this is like why wouldn't they be happy exactly they we're, we're furious as kentucky fans we're upset man we are furious as kentucky fans and this is unacceptable for us to accept this it's unacceptable for the basketball program to be the way they are reed was not himself tonight at all like, I don't know what happened to Reed tonight. The moment was too big for that kid. Love him. This right here wasn't his game. But I can't just call out Reeves. I mean, I can't just call out Reed. It's, it, it was it was collectively the, the team. Over the season, we got worse. This is uh this is embarrassing, man. I asked a question. We played scared. I think we, I mean, we came out and just played like we were so tense. Like, why? Like, this is what we've been doing all day, all year. Why are we so tense for? This is, and this is the results right here, man. This is absolutely the results of what you get when things like this happen. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't. Somebody just somebody just tell me that I just got punked. Please, somebody tell me here in Q8 they showed a different ball game. Someone please tell me that, that I just got that I just got punked. No way, man. Like no way could this be. But we lost, and I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking my head. Hey. Cal's going to get the guys to the NBA. But we, as Kentucky fans, we want to win. That's exactly what we want right now. We want to win. First time in my life, I'm not completely sure I can invest this much into another UK team. I have rolled with Cal and never. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm just Brandon. I'm the same way, man. People ask me all the time. People ask me all the time, dude, how can you continue to roll with Cal? I've, 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 I've tried my best, man. Like, I've tried to just have hope. I've tried to believe. Reeves couldn't hold the whole team. He couldn't. Reeves went out and played basketball tonight. He just couldn't. He just couldn't hold it, man. He couldn't do it by himself. And that was it for him. That was it. There's, there's no more chances for him. I'm just in disbelief. Like, I don't even know what to say, man. You know? 
I um I I don't know what to say anymore because I feel um I feel like people's got to have that tough conversation now. And I wanted to support Cal and I wanted to support our Wildcats. But what we're watching and what we just witnessed Yeah, that's it right there. You know, the word insanity is mean doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. <laughs> well, we see how that's going right now. That um, I think, um, you know, I really think that um, most people in this comments pretty much are saying Cal needs to go. I think so. If Cal needs to go. What do you think? Cal needs to go? This is not Kentucky basketball, Kimberly. This is not Kentucky basketball. This is not it, man. Like, you, you wear the fancy suits and you can get you can go out and be travel around to get some recruits. But if you can't take that and put it on the court and be the Oakland, if you can't put it on the court and be the St. Mary's, you know what? It's maybe, maybe this is not for you. If you can't go to Nashville and win a ball game, at least one game, we went to the NC, we went to the SEC tournament and got bounced the first ball game. We went to the NCAA tournament and got bounced the first ball game. How much composure would anyone re expect us as Kentucky fans to keep? Like, how much composure? Like, like how calm are we supposed to be today? Like, what are we supposed to think? Are we supposed to just say, you know what, this is okay? It's no problem. This is acceptable. This is not acceptable. I walked in circles in my apartment for the whole ball game, even at halftime. I was on edge the whole time. I could not believe that I'm sitting here on this live because we got beat by freaking Oakland. I'm angry. And if it wasn't 5 o'clock in the morning, I would scream. I would scream to the top of my lungs. I'm going to get in my car today, I'm going to go for a ride, and I'm going to scream because I'm angry. And that's the only way that I know how to vent. I don't know any other way. This is all I know. This is what gets me up in the morning and keeps me going. Kentucky basketball, this is what makes me smile. And now I got this. And now I got this. And I don't know what else to say. I'm dumbfounded right now. I am. Somebody help me out here, man. How am I like, like, like how, you know, how how are we supposed to deal with this? You know, somebody talk to me because I don't understand and I'm angry. I don't even use foul language, but I almost just cussed because I don't know any other way to fit. I don't know any other way to get my to get the frustration out. Well, this ain't going to work. I don't care about going back to the drawing board. I don't care about, let's see what we're going to do next year. This right here was supposed to be right here, man. This is supposed to be what we're doing right here. We're supposed to be still advancing in this tournament, and we didn't. Hurt, man. I'm hurting, man. I'm I'm hurting. Man, dude, I'm hurting. I know it's just a game, bro. I get it. It's a game. I get all that. This is everything to some to a lot of us. This is everything to us, man. And now we ain't got nothing. That's the best team we had in a long time, and we can't even get past the first round. I'm hurt, man. I am. This bothers me so much. This matters, man. This matters to us. This is everything. And now we got nothing. I can't, man. I can't, man. It's just too hard. This is too hard. This is... Uh, I can't believe that this is uh 
I can't believe that this is really what's going on right now with Kentucky. I can't believe it. Calipari. Con- Calipari. Coach Calipari. Tell me why I should believe after tonight. Make me understand why I should believe after tonight. Because, see, I, I, I'm not getting it. I no longer understand. I no longer can just sit back and say, you know what, it, 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 it's okay. We're going to, something, something's good is going to come from this. I can no longer sit back and just say it's, it, it, that this is fine. I can no longer sit back and say that this is going to work itself out. At what point does it work itself out? It's not working out. It's not working itself out. It's not getting any better. It's the same results. What's supposed to happen? How do we bounce back from this? This is um, this is crazy, man. Um, no, we're not built for March. We're not built for March. That statement needs to be um, illegal from here on out. We're not. We are... Um, People's getting that trend going. Hashtag Far Calipari. I want to believe. If anyone knows me, I try my best to believe my life. I, 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 I try to live my life by hope and thinking that the best is always around the corner, that the best is yet to come. I um I don't know what else to say. I think we, I mean, really. I don't know what else to say, man. This is um, this is one of those games that we're just going to be like, you know what? It didn't work out. It just didn't work out. March of twenty thirty. <laughs> Serious question: What coaches would we would we want? Well, what coaches can we get? What coaches is willing to come to Kentucky with as much pressure on it? Cal has Cal has Cal has set this up in a way that the next coach that comes in, the pressure for him to win in the first year will be enormous. What coach out there do you guys think is going to walk into this? Like, really, what what coach wants to walk in to this type of pressure from day one? Oh, if you don't win, oh, see, we got the wrong person. That's a lot of, per- that's a lot of pressure. Well, let's go get Jay Wright then. I I cannot believe that I'm sitting here and I'm actually telling myself that I'm in favor of John Pal- of, of of John Calipari just going away. Go get the Oakland coach. Why not? No, he won't. No, he 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 has a better program in his eyes at Oakland. He won't come to Kentucky. This is a disgrace. This is a um, Bruce Pearl. Okay. We're not going to get Bruce Pearl. This is. um, He ain't really did a whole lot, man. He ain't really did a whole lot. I mean, you don't go lose the first game in SEC tournament. You'd be like, okay, you know, we okay. We locked in. And then come to win, then lose the first NCAA tournament game. I'm not checking my phone, man. I'm not. I'm not gonna check my phone because I know that uh, a lot of a lot of haters are gonna be texting me. And you know what? I don't want to hear from them right now. Like I, I, I just don't want to hear from them. I get it. I'm hurting, and I don't need people to rub it in my face. That's why I always tell people I stay humble, because until UK does something that gives me a reason to poke my chest out, then that's when I'll be excited. But. Unfortunately, UK can't seem to get past the first round. Oh, no, no, no. We're not getting past the first round. We don't do that kind of stuff here at Kentucky anymore. Not up under my leadership. We don't get it. We don't get past these games. I don't want to see what's going on in the locker room. I don't want to see no press conference. I don't want to see no – I don't want to see any of that. Because none of that can bring back us opportunity – to play in the next ball game, to get out of the first weekend. 
the story in college basketball today is Kentucky falls. Not just falls, but Kentucky falls again. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's one and done. He, he's put a new meaning to that because that's exactly what Kentucky's living up to now. That's exactly what we're putting up with right now is one and done. One game and we're out. One try at it, we out. Don't worry about it. The SEC tournament doesn't mean anything. We don't really care about that. That's not a big thing. It's okay. Well, you would think, and me, not being the smartest guy in the world, but you would think that the NCAA tournament means a little bit more and would be taken with, with, with a lot more seriousness. If we came out and played as flat as we did in the first part of the ball game, I would have called a timeout. I would have called a timeout, and I would have ripped the I would I would I would have ripped the butthole on everybody. Period. Just call a timeout in the middle of the game. Just just call it first part of the ball game. We guys, we ain't playing. What the freak is wrong, man? Get in somebody's face. We living in we live in a new uh, we live in a new era, man. That doesn't look like um, unless some things change. It doesn't like it's um, – um, it doesn't change. Yeah, four, maybe five, depend on. Um, people going to get some um, some deals, most likely. And um, you got to get out of here. I think Reed Shepard might come back. I do not – I cannot imagine Reed Shepard wanting to leave now knowing that his last game at Kentucky was probably his worst game at Kentucky. I kind of look for – I wouldn't be shocked if Reed Shepard came back because he didn't have a good game. We didn't. Dillingham had, didn't have a good game. Like, I haven't even looked at the scores yet the, uh, the, uh, of, of the stats to even see what happened. What's the box score at? What's Kentucky at? Mitchell had 14 and 13. Edwards had 10. Reeves had 27. He kept us in it, man. Wagner had no points. I've been going for 27 minutes and haven't even mentioned Wagner. You want to know why I haven't mentioned Wagner yet? Because Wagner didn't do anything. And you want to go to the NBA and you can't even show up against, against the number 14 team. Sorry. I love you, young man. I wish you the best in whatever you use. I hope you go get your money. That's fine. But this is when you come to Kentucky getting zero points and you're supposed to be a, a, a high pick in the draft and you get two points and two rebounds, you didn't get it done. Dillingham had three points. Bradshaw had three. Z had three. Shepard only had three points. Three. Shepard didn't even get a rebound today. Zero only had two. He got hurt in the first half. He got hurt in the first half. It's just ridiculous, man. This is... Uh, this right here just makes you uh, makes you step back and evaluate a lot of things in your life. It just it it makes you just look at things different. It it, it really really does. Dylan Hammer had ten. Yeah, Dylan Hammer he had ten. Yeah, um, it just it just kind of makes you uh, it kind of makes you look at things just a little bit different. It does. But Kentucky didn't have enough in the tank. They get it done. They wanted to step up. They wanted to try to play their best basketball the last part of the ball game. It's, it's, too, it's too late. These guys are feeling it. They're not losing. They can taste it. They, they can taste blood. And they wasn't going to lose that ball game. We was a little too late to try to act like we wanted to really win the ball game. Bradshaw, he was Bradshaw was probably one of the better of the bigs tonight. He was. Z Canono to the ball. They couldn't stop. Oh man, man. This is um this is this is sad, man. This is emotional, man, for a lot of people. It is. And people who love Reed, hey man, tonight, tonight, you gotta call it what it was for him tonight. We had so like we we believed that Reeves was gonna be a major part. Reed was going to be a major part of us making a big run tonight. And when we needed him the most, when we needed him the most, 
because he's been such a big player. And I'm not calling out Reed in particular because Reed Reed didn't lose the ball game all by himself. You know, Reed didn't he he didn't lose the ball game all by himself. We just really kind of expected that if anybody outside of Reeves would have a a consistent ball game, it would be Reed Shepard, and he didn't get it done tonight. So I, you know, is he going to be a, a lottery pick and leave? Hey, if he leaves to go get his bag, it is what it is, man. And make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about this. I'm hurt, but I will always be a UK fan. I am hurt. I would never stop loving my Wildcats. I am angry, but I am disappointed in the performance that they had tonight. Tomorrow I'll wake up and I still wear my Kentucky hat because I love my Wildcats. But this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. It is. It, it, it really just is. And for me, I just don't know. I don't know how. I personally just don't know how. I don't know how to process that. So, so I'm not really sure how to process what just happened tonight. Because that was unacceptable. All the way around. It was just unacceptable, period. I'm heartbroken. I, I, I am, man. I am so heartbreaking. I am so heartbroken over this, over this loss, man. I've never really cried over a ball game. But this brought tears to my eyes, man. Like, this this really brought tears to my eyes. Now, everybody in the country wants to troll Kentucky. Why not, man? We haven't earned the right to, to, to get respect. We haven't earned that right. So where we go from here, guys and ladies? Like, like what's next for the Kentucky Wildcats? Can you see what's the possibility of what Kentucky can be next? We're not ready to process that yet. I'm not. I'm not ready to process that. I'm, if I go fishing today, I'll probably take my pole and just throw it in the water <laughs> and just walk away. Like, the excitement, the joy in my life is almost non-existent right now. Well, I tell you what, man. I don't know where, Bitch, um, uh, where Mitch Barnhart is at tonight. I don't know where he's doing. I don't know how he's how he's um, taking this right here, but I hope one thing that's on his mind is I'm calling Cal, and we're gonna have a conversation because this right here is unacceptable. Pay Cal. I think someone mentioned earlier um, time for a reset. I think someone mentioned earlier it's like thirty three million dollars for a buyout. Um, same thing next year, 23 and 8 with three uh, five stars. <laughs> oh my goodness, people. I can't um hey man, if they not having a meeting and I more the same next year with the same Calvin Barnhart. It, it's you know, somebody, somebody somewhere has got somebody somewhere has gotta be talking about what's gonna happen next. What's our next move? Is it time for a reset? Is it time to go ahead and tell Cal that, you know what I'm saying, we gave it our best shot, we believed in you. It's just time to separate. It's time to go our separate ways. It just is. And with the recruits that we got coming in next year, if that means that we lose those guys because they because we let go of Cal and those guys want to follow Cal, then I'm at peace if that means we got to go and we got to rebuild. Guys that want to get here, guys that really want to play ball, guys that's not looking ahead to what their future is, guys want to be here in the moment. So many people pick Kentucky, man, to make it all the way to the last, to the last dance, to the Final Four. So many brackets are busted tonight. So many hearts are destroyed. I'll be okay with it. You know, we got some we got some talented guys coming in next year. But if that means we got to lose those guys because we're ready to regroup and we're ready to rebuild and we're ready to get guys who's going to come in here and really want to come in here and really want to play ball, then it has to happen. 
And that's been one of my fears for a couple of years now. Oh, I don't want to lose Cal right now because of the stars that we that he's bringing in here. It ain't working. It ain't working. Go get me a two, three-star player. Just go get them. Those guys, they come in and they're hungry. I'm just saying. They're hungry. If we got to rebuild and we're not going to get those players next year, that's a hard pill to swallow because some of those dudes can ball. But if that means we can't get them and we really, truly got to rebuild, then we as fans that won't cow out, we have to be okay with that. And we have to say that 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 this is acceptable. Something look, something we may be in our emotions right now. We may. Everyone here may, and, and I'm not calling, I'm not sitting here and saying, go far, go far cow right now. What I'm saying is that meeting needs to happen. Like that, that mention of we will let you go and we're not afraid to pay you $33 million needs to happen. Those tough conversations need to happen. You can't keep telling, you can't keep telling a, 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 a fan base the size of Kentucky that next year is going to be okay. That next year we got an answer. Because all we're seeing is next year, is next year, is next year. But we're not seeing no results. No results. That's all That's all we're hearing. We cannot keep hearing this. We refuse to keep hearing that, oh, it's, we got next year. We're going to be okay. It's not. Something has to go, man. Something has to go. Something has to change. If we go to our job tomorrow, and we just act up, and we just act a fool, guess what they're going to do? Let me walk you out the door. We don't tolerate that behavior here at this company. I can't go act a fool at my company, and they'll be like, oh, it's okay. Next week, you'll be better. No. So why should it be any difference? It should not be any different. Period. Prove me wrong. Yes, but is if they fire his assistants, are they gonna are they gonna listen? I mean, is is he gonna listen to them? Is that the problem? Does some of the assistants just be like, you know what? I've had enough of this. This is a dumpster fire. I'm out of here. I'm running for the hills. Theo was on the bench in the first half because he hurt his shoulder. I seen it when he when he as soon as he heard it, I seen it. But it was going to uh, it was going to commercial when they actually caught a little glimpse of of of, of a dude. He hurt his shoulder, so um, it was his left shoulder the way he was holding it. But he sat down and he was on a bench or whatever. So, uh, but he ended up coming back, which I didn't, which I didn't know he was gonna come back or not. But um, Joe Biden is pulling out of California. <laughs> People don't want to hear that. Oh no. Uh, so it it's just one of those games, man, where we're just going to uh, a kid from about forty miles from Bloomington, Indiana, selected Kentucky over IU this year. <laughs> well. <laughs> We'll see how that works out. We do. Just a red carpet to the NBA. That's what. It, hey, if the shoe fits, if the shoe fits, you gotta you gotta call it what it is. And we just gotta just um, what 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 would Patino come back to Kentucky if they called him tomorrow? Or better yet, would you would you be okay with? Rick, um, Rick Pitino coming back tomorrow if they called him and, and they fired Cal. Is he the answer? He ain't got a whole lot more time left. He only got a few more years. He's like he's like 79 years old. We got to see what happens. We've been beat by guys with one, two, and three stars. Because you want to know why we've been beat? No, Pitino. You want to know why we've been beat by, by teams? That have, where's that at? Chuck right here. Let me see if I can put that up. Uh, no, thank you. I know, right? Uh, where's that at? You know why we've been beat? Chuck, you know why we've been beat for guys that's one, two, and three stars? Because they want it more. They want to fight. They have nothing to lose. Nobody wanted them. We're the, we're the, we're the, we're the people that nobody wants. We're the leftovers. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go in and we're going to give you, we're going to put on our shoes and we're going to put on our hard hats 
but we're going to go to work every single time out on the floor. You know, 20, we're going to go to work all the time. Yeah, man. It is. So, well, so I guess I should ask. We need young, hungry coach. I was thinking about that, Justin, um, if, if, if that's the answer. If we need a young, vibrant coach who can get down dirty with these with these young guys, we just gonna have to see, man. He ain't a great coach because we can't win. We can't win. Cal comes out in a nice suit. The other guy comes out in a blazer or a pullover because he's ready to go to work. I don't have a problem with a suit. But if you're going to come out and look good like that, you better win. You better win. That might be stupid. But that guy was over there. He was relaxed. He was ready to go. Wasn't about no scene. The only scene he wanted to make was win this ball game. And that's exactly what he did. Win this ball game. We just, uh, I just don't know where we're going to go next with this. I hate the suit. Like, SEC and NCAA are uh, OT by NIL. Well, by, hey, hey, we got a new NIL deal. I mean, thing. So maybe that'll work out a little bit. But Kentucky's just not playing ball, man. Kentucky just didn't play ball tonight. The year is over. It's not as uh, exciting to beat Kentucky anymore. Everyone beats us in the tournament. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's broke. It's not – um, Mike Dow, you are 100% right. No one's like, like, like people don't. I didn't watch the game. Did they like storm the court? Did they like jump all over the court in, in, in excitement for beating Kentucky? I probably would have. Why not? Like, you're not supposed to win this ball game. We was, we had a, I, well, from what I saw on CBS, we was a 13 and a half point favorite. 13, and I, and I said, if those guys find a way to keep it close, because, because Kentucky just doesn't step on their throat and take them completely out of the game from the first part of it. If they don't do that and they give these guys any type of hope, it might be over for Kentucky. And we gave them all, all the hope in the world. We gave them all the hope in the world. And this is what this is the thank you that we got for having all these five-star players. We had, it was 13 and a half. Um, we had all these five-star players. We have guys that's getting ready to make a lot of money in the NBA. Guys that's going to be like, I have decided to declare to, to forgo my, my, my sophomore season and turn pro. I will be hiring an agent. That's, that, that's what we're about to hear now. Now that's what we're about to hear now. Some of those guys need to they need to do some self-reflection. Do some self-reflection. So it, this, this is not good enough for you guys, Tommy Lorton. Uh, now, I, I I don't think a lot of people are really wanting Rick Pitino to come back. Um, so, five stars. What is a five star player? The projection. I mean, we had a guy that came in and they said it was going to be number one pick in the draft, probably. And um, and Justin Edwards. Justin, he ain't a, he ain't a, he ain't a, he's not a top five pick. He's not a top ten pick. I don't think he's even mentioned in the first round unless it's towards the bottom. That's what we're dealing with, man. Yep. They couldn't um, – this is it, man. Reeves, look, before I get off, I just want to say this about Reeves. Reeves, you came out. Your last NCAA tournament game against Kansas State, you had five points. You came out tonight and you did everything – you did every – no, they don't care about defense in the NBA. They don't. Um, Reeves, you came out tonight and you did everything you could to put it on the line for Kentucky. You did your best, man. You hit shots after shot. And I want to apologize to you that you're not able to get to the second – I mean, um, to the second ball game. I want to apologize that we didn't get it done. But you gave it your all. You gave it your all, and we salute you, Reeves. We salute you for what you did. 
Trey Mitchell, he, he had a little better game. He had a double-double. We salute you guys, man. Thank you guys for coming to Kentucky. We wish you guys the best. And thank you. Yeah, I, I'm like, like I'm not even looking. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss Reeves, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sincerely going to miss Reeves. But there's like, I don't, like, I don't care about the five star players right now, man. Five star players at Kentucky is not, it's not panning out. It's just not panning out, and it's just not working. Something's got to happen, man. Somebody's got to put on somebody's got to put on up big boy pants and make some big boy decisions on moving forward with the program of the University of Kentucky, because we can't continue to say we're going to wait until next year and let's see what happens. We got bounce. I bet you anything, St. Peter's called up Oakland and said, "Do this right here, and you can win the ball game." And that's what happened. Kentucky got that beat beat. Only year at work was the year with the Harrison twins. That's it. This is um this is unbelievable right here, man. This is just um one of those things that just make you put your hand on top of your head, take a deep breath. Ever how you exhale, whatever you do, then you do it. But this is embarrassing. St. Peter's getting waxed by Tennessee. No figure. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Tennessee's coming to play, man. Rick Barnes is like, uh-oh, uh-oh, Calipari's out of it. Let's see what I can do. I haven't had very much success in the tournament. Let's see what I can do now. And look what he's doing. Izzo moved on. These guys are moving on, man. Cal's going home. Cal's going home, man. So I guess the hashtag Far Cal is going around. It has started. Um, we can, um, you know, Kentucky just got bounced, period. Kentucky just got bounced. And it's a horrific feeling knowing that we didn't have enough to knock off a bunch of one, two, and three stars. It is. Like, it's, it's that embarrassing knowing that, that 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 we didn't have enough what it takes to actually do it. No excuses. A complete disappointment with so much talent. John Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats were completely outplayed. Is it time for Calipari to be fired since we cannot get it done under his leadership? Time for the closed door office meeting. Some teams show up, some teams don't. We ain't showing up. And it's and it's um um it it's showing evidently we're not showing up because it's not getting done under the leadership. So cats, until next time, I want to thank everybody for supporting me throughout this whole season. I'm on YouTube, loyal BBN fan. I'm on X, Big Mike 2014-23, Facebook. Loyal BBN fans. I mean, you guys tell me. I, I, I just, my question is this to you guys. How do you wake up in the morning and deal with this? Like, what's your, somebody help me here. Somebody, somebody help me here. What do you do? What do you do when you wake up in a, the next morning after something like this? Like, do you have like, because it's because it's becoming normal now. It's becoming no, normal of losing games. So now you can start having a habit of what you do because it's happening so often. You know, don't think about it. It's hard not to. It's hard when you know when you see the next ball game or where your name should have been at. It's hard when you see that. Get your resume ready. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard when you see that your name is supposed to be in the brackets on this particular day, and it ain't there. Somebody's calling, but nobody's answering. The announcers was laughing. It was so embarrassing. I couldn't watch the end of it, man. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't watch the end of it. I turned it off. 
That's where Kentucky basketball is at right now. People don't even believe that we can win a ball game. People don't even believe that, that we can even win a be a number three seed and be the 14th seed. People don't even, like, real, I mean, fans, real fans, don't even believe that Kentucky can even win a ball game no more. That's because of the past history of how it's been lately, as of lately. That's, that's exactly how it's been. Tennessee up 26 points. Well, let me tell you what, I'm not watching no more ball games. I really got to get a hobby now. Because I don't know what else to do with my time. I, I, I had all my time allocated, allocated for this. Now I don't have anything to do. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know. I guess I'll watch episodes of Friends. I have no idea. I did a video today about we needed six chapters. Tonight was supposed to be a very special chapter of just getting past the first game. And the first chapter was a complete dumpster fire. That chapter one is no good no more because there won't be a it won't be a chapter two 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 um, six. There's no need. We, we don't have anything to write about no more. Anything. We don't have anything to write about because it's over with. Season's done for me. Basket the this basketball season is done for me. I'll I probably most likely won't watch any more basketball. I won't. Sorry, it's, it's hard to look on the court knowing that our Wildcats ain't going back out there. They ain't going back out on the court. We can't look for them. Don't, don't look for Kentucky. Oh, yeah, you can look for them. Their name, where they got beat at, just tear your bracket up. Just tear your bracket up. A lot of people, just tear your bracket up because it's over. It don't even matter no more, man. I guess. Cal don't teach them defense because I guess he said they don't need it. Western, you know what, Cal? I'm I'm I may actually try to catch some of that Western Kentucky game. I I may just to, just to support my bowling um, the team in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where my parents live at. I may actually just try to see when that game comes on. I'm not sure if it's on right now when it comes on, but I might try to do it. But don't, you don't think those teams, Houston? Texas Tech, North Carolina, Marquette, you don't think those teams are saying, yes, they're already sending Oakland gifts in the mail, saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for knocking these guys off. <laughs> so many people are already, man. So many um, in April, Bradshaw and Edwards camp in um, – I don't know what to do, man. Like this, like this, like it was supposed to be really special, and our Wildcats let us down, man. Get my fishing pot. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to. And I told myself, look, I'm hor. I love fishing because it's relaxing. I don't catch anything. If I catch something fish, I ask the person beside me to take it off the hook because I don't want to touch it unless I got my gloves. But uh, you know, the uh, I might have to go back fishing again. This, this. This game was garbage, guys. It really was. And um, some teams show up. Some teams don't. Kentucky goes down to the Oakland Grizzlies. Unbelievable. So if you got to – so if you drove to Pittsburgh and you got to drive home tomorrow, unless you stand, drive safe. Thank you for your loyal support to the Kentucky Wildcats. I'm sorry for your disappointment. Breathe. Exhale. Vent, but it's over. Take Cal fishing with me. Go ahead and get that boat out and, and, and put Cal and all of our five-star players on the boat together and say, let's go fishing because that's all we are, man. That is it. It's, you know, you look at the numbers and you look at the teams who, who win championships and you look at their defense, and we just said, hey, if we could just go out and if we could just shoot lights out, Maybe we can outscore some teams even if they get hot. Nope. Because we know our defense is pretty much what it was. We know what it was. We know what it was going to be. So maybe we could just outscore some teams. Maybe we can have a chance. <laughs> helping forget us. As a Gonzaga Ooh. alumni, thank you for helping us get our season uh, on track. <laughs> that's that's 
that's Kentucky basketball when you got teams coming in a, in a, in a Kentucky show and laughing at them. Seriously, Kentucky basketball has teams coming in just to make fun of them. Calipari, thank you. Thank you for the product that you put on the floor tonight because it, it sucked. So that bus you guys got on, that you guys got off of to come into the arena, just go get back on it. Go to the airport. Y'all should come back home tonight. And I need to stand in Pittsburgh tonight. Come home. Don't waste, don't waste money by staying in another night in a hotel room. Come home. Let somebody else sleep in them rooms tonight. Teams that are deserving. Let a coach sleep in a room. You know? Somebody that is well deserving. Maybe we had to get an older coach um, in post-game press. Kentucky was terrible tonight, very soft. We did. We just didn't get it done. These comments, like, we played to our competition. We did, didn't we? I mean, it's, it's, it's like we just didn't play. Somebody called a radio show, a popular radio show that a lot of people listen to, and he said something that made a lot of sense. He says, I was upset. I was upset that we got number three seed. He said, I wanted – I wanted a number four seed in the Auburn bracket so we so we can play up to the level of, of, of the competition. Because he said, I was afraid, he said, I'm afraid we don't play up the competition and we play down to them and we don't take it serious like we should be. It's a lot of truth in that. It's a lot of truth in that. We oh it's 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 open. We don't have to come out, we don't have to be red hot, we don't have to be sharp. It wasn't. Nothing looked, nothing looked like it was on purpose tonight. The only thing that looked like it was on purpose tonight was not being on purpose. And that was the best that we could do by being on purpose, by not being on purpose. Because a lot of things that we did, next <laughs> someone said next year we should be the number 14 seed. Maybe so. Maybe we should have that chip on our shoulder because the committee want to put us at a 14 seed. The committee was like, look, we just wasted a whole number three seed on the Kentucky Wildcats. Why? That's okay. Next year, come, they won't get that number three seed. They better win the tournament. They better win regular season if they even going to think about getting a hot seed. We're going to put them down to a 10 seed, period. Y'all don't, y'all don't, um, y'all don't deserve it. Antonio Reeves was the only one who did his job. Yep. Antonio showed up tonight and did his um, – I like that. I like that Trey Mitchell played harder than he has since he's been back. He got a double double. He hit the board like we like we hoped he would. But he should though. He's playing against Oakland. He should hit the board. He had 14 points, I think it was. Oh, one away around. I think it was 14 points, 13 rebounds. But we didn't get anything. And we didn't get anything out of these guys. And that's why, that's why it it's so painful. Is 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 because we couldn't get that. And Kentucky lost the ball game. Y'all got to play 30 million, then find you a. <laughs> That's facts, man. We got to pay 30 million, $33 million to Cal to fire. And then we got to turn around and find somebody that we're not sure how it's going to work out. Because this is a lot of pressure, man. This is Jay Wright. Look like he's comfortable where he's at. No pressure, easy travel, no coaches. I mean, no having to be at, at coaching seven days a week. He looks, he, looks, he looks comfortable. Why would he want to come back for it? No. Why do you want to come back for it? Certain coaches ain't walking through the door tomorrow. It just ain't going to happen. I'm sure they cry. I, I can't watch it because, because, because I would have cried. I would have cried with them. I, I, just, I, just, I still have not seen any video of the St. Uh, of, of, of Peter's game at the end of the game, not when the buzzer went off, not when they celebrated, not when I guys was in the locker room, and I won't watch any of this right here. I would purposely avoid it. I want to remember our Tennessee. I mean, our. I want to remember our Kentucky Wildcats, the excitement that they had when they beat Tennessee. That's the last. That's the last I want to see. I didn't watch the Texas A&M game. The ending of it. I turned it off. I won't watch it. I want to have happy thoughts over our Kentucky Wildcats. Unfortunately, we didn't have any happy thoughts the whole ball game tonight. So now I gotta remember that. But I won't watch the end of the ball game uh, or whatever. So we need more. We need more experience. Um, Cal needs to go. Cal don't need to recruit any more players. I'm not even sure how many he has right now. 
I have to go do my research. But Cal needs to go, and Cal needs to go and get some some older guys to come in. Period. Like he needs to have at least he needs to have at least four to five older guys on the team. Period. Hey, you, hey, you young guys, sit down for a minute. Let me show you guys how we play ball. Because in March Madness, our young guys are just not getting it done. It's just not happening, period. And that's a shame. But it is what it is, man. AM and was the beginning of the end prior to that rest. So why on earth would you want Cal back? Anybody, you know, that's a million-dollar question right there. A lot of people are going to continue to ride with Cal. I used to be like, I just, I, I want to hold off. I don't understand. I want to hold off and hold on for hope. But that's it. Oh, I agree with you, Dante. I would not watch ESPN. For, well, being overseas in Kuwait, I can't watch Kuwait. Bro. I can't. They won't. The ESPN app would not allow me to watch any programs over here overseas or at least from when I tried the last time. So they would not let me. They said, we're sorry, but we you cannot watch it in this region. So I can't watch anything. So I got to get other channels and other means to be able to watch programs or whatever. Um, thank Funchester TV. He he really he really helped me out all year. He, he, he did live games. Uh, he posted everything. So that was really good for me to be able to, to keep up with the Wildcats and watch all the ball games. But – there's nothing else to watch anymore, man. This is it. This is it. Nothing else to talk about. Stats didn't matter. People, people, people look at me like, well, stats matter. No, they don't. Stats don't matter. We got we got lottery picks. We got SEC first teams. We got freshmen of the year. We got we got the sixth man of the year. Numbers don't matter if you don't go out there and execute like you're supposed to. Like, 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 how did you get these awards? Show me how you got these awards. They'd be like, hey, man, he didn't, he did not play like he was the freshman of the year. And I know it's one game. I get it. But it was the most important game of the year that can cause your season to be over with. That's the game that you want to play your best in. Maybe some people don't understand that. And because of that, because of that, we may see another year of Reeves. Not Reeves, but um, um, but um, but Reed Shepard. We may see another year of him. I cannot imagine him, his dream school, and him leaving on the way he left. I cannot imagine him closing, saying, okay, I'm leaving. I'm going to the NBA. I just, I'm, I'll, I'll leave it as is. I don't know. Mitch is our Jerry Jones. Do you guys think he was afraid to he, – he only scored, what, one basket? He only had three points tonight. He didn't shoot the ball. Like, why would you shoot the ball? Like, like, like that's what uh, – Yeah, wasted Reed senior year. Absolutely. Do you guys think Reed, uh, Reed Shepard should come back next year? Matter of fact, what guys do you – if you had to go and tell the guys right now today, which guys would you say – you need to come back next year and, and and give it another year. Who would you put? Justin Edwards should be investigated for point shaving. Why is that? Did he bet on him or something? DJ Wagner, DJ Wagner would transfer. He won't come back. It's amazing how the pride, man, just keeps kids from wanting to be better. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just definitely he should be back. It's crazy how pride would keep players or keep people from just doing crazy things. Like, look, man, look, I didn't have the best year. I came in, I was projected as a high pick, you know. I really, Wagner and Reed should come back. Bradshaw, Burks, I do uh, come back. I don't think, I don't know if Burks is going to come back next year, man. Like, I really don't, man. Like, like I, I, like I, Burks, I mean, dude, if, if we needed energy tonight, why didn't, why didn't Cal try Burks? Like, nobody else was doing anything. Why not give Burks a try? Why not? I would have. Rob is the one and done. Yeah, he's gone. Wagner to Louisville, he can come um, He can come in as a star. Um, he may. I don't know, man, but this is, this is, this is crazy. 
I would take any any of them back. Um, it takes more than one year to get it. Well, let's see if they do it. DJ Reed, Edwards, and Bradshaw all need DJ. Um, they all need to come back, huh? Why not, man? Like, come back one more year. What do you got to lose? You have nothing to lose. Come back one more year. Well, I guess they say, well, I got millions to lose. I can be a lottery pick and make all this money versus coming back to Kentucky. And for what? For to, to come back next year just so we can lose again in the first game, in the, in the first weekend? Um, remember, we beat Tennessee in a meaningless game. I guess so. But it was so fun beating them. But I want to remember our tennis, our, our Wildcats because that's the last joy that we that we will have for this year is seeing them beat is, is beat Tennessee. And now um he might he might go back to his, he might go back to Croatia and, and go back pro. Um no one knows, man. And at this point, I don't even know if it really matters. I really don't. Good 20 year olds are better than Phenom 20, 18 year olds. Cal need to go get some of them. Cal need to go down. Cal need to get players that, that, that he can go down to the lobby or he can go into the West Name and see him sitting in a recliner reading a newspaper, drinking coffee. That's the kind of, that's the kind of players coach Cal needs right there. You know what I'm saying? He need to be able so he can so he can t- sit down and, and, and talk about world issues with, with the older guys. He's not doing that with the freshmen. Maybe they just don't get it. Maybe, you know, maybe this is just I want to go have fun in college for a year. See what happens. If I win a championship, okay. If I don't, okay. I'm going on to get my money. It doesn't matter to people. Winning doesn't matter to these kids like it used to. I get it. They're in the, they're in the locker room crying. I would be crying. I would be crying because I just let these guys beat me. I ain't heard about none of them guys on the team going pro. None of them. But we got all this star power over here. Sorry, uh, Clark Kellogg. I know you had Kentucky going to Final Four. They disappointed you. I'm sorry. We did. On behalf of the Kentucky fan base, I apologize to anybody out there, non-Kentucky fans, who had Kentucky going to the Final Four. I am sorry that we let you down. But that's just what happened. These players didn't play right. Hey, Richard, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. I um, I agree, man. All this, everything can't come down on Cal, but Cal's got to have a way to get these guys mentally ready to be able to be able to play this ball game. Like, like as a captain, if you're a manager of of a company and you ain't getting it done, you can get fired. If your guys are not getting it done, you can get fired based off of that. Why is basketball, why is sports any different? I get it. That was, Cal didn't make a bad pass. Cal didn't discard people. Cal, Cal just didn't go out there and, and not play with any energy. The players did. But as a coach, you have responsibilities to make sure that your players are ready to go. You have a responsibility to making sure that you're putting the guys on the floor who really want to be on the floor. I, 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 I like seeing Burks play basketball. Is, is, is he one of the best players on the team? No. But is he one of the players that understands when I come in the ball game, I got to go hard the whole time I'm on the floor because I do not know when I'm coming back in the ball game. And these players that we got, oh, it's okay. I'll take a break. He'll take me out. I'll be back in another two or three minutes. It's no problem. I can do what I want to do. I can just go to the bench. We don't have players that feel like if I don't perform, I ain't going back in the ball game. That's the kind of players we don't have. We need players to say, I got to get on the floor and I got to show what I can do because I only get one chance at this and I got to make the best of it. So I got to go in and I got to play hard as I can because I might not get back in the ball game no more. That's the kind of players we need. I don't want to make a bad pass. Coach, take me out. It's okay. I'll be over here for about a minute. I sit over here and get comfortable. But you know what? I'm going back in it in a couple of minutes. When you got guys sitting on the bench, just like, hey, man, hey, yo, 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 can I get a run? Yo, 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 can I get a can I get a try? Can I go out there and at least just give some energy? Put me in, look, if you just put me in, in the game just to guard that shooter and just use all my energy up, put me in. Why not? You got Reeves, the best player on, on that's that's on the floor for us tonight. He's 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 exerting all of his energy 
guarding the best shooter on the floor. Why? Put somebody in with that that you know is going to go in. It's about accountability. Kimberly, you hit it. It's about accountability. Set, your, set his butt on the bench and says, if you ain't going to go in, if you're not going to give it your very best, then you sit over here with me for the rest of the night. I can I can live with a lose, with a loss. I might lose this ball game, but I'm not going to watch you go out there and not give it your everything. So, you know, you got you to gotta put people out on the floor who want to play and who's going to give you the best opportunity the whole ball game to get it done. And the Kentucky Wildcats – just didn't get it done tonight, period, on no fashion. So, you know, it is what it is, man. It, it, it really is. So I'm going to get on my app called the Autograph, and I'm going to just look at other things that's going on. And you should, too, on the Autograph app. The link will be in the description. Use the code BBNFANS. Of course, I don't know what we're going to look at now. I hate to say that. I shouldn't say that. But it is what it is now. It's nothing to really look forward to anymore. So then Cal was out coached. Cal got out coached again. And that's another thing. He got out coached by <laughs> Cal's been in the game for just as long as he has. And he's been faithful to that to that team for years. He's been faithful to that year. And this is the, this is his reward right here. He just got his golden glow by hanging around. Turning down men majors, sticking around, saying it's just not a good fit. I'm staying where I'm at. And eventually, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Travis. I appreciate it. Um, give me my win over Calipari because we got it done. And I take my trophy. See, it don't even matter. It doesn't even matter what Oakland does the next ball game. They can go out and lose the next ball game by 50 points. It don't matter. Because in 20 years from now, guess what? These players from Oakland will go back and celebrate knocking out Kentucky in the round of 64. They just will. Kyle is talking right now that he had the youngest team in the field. I don't want to hear the youngest team. Well, then, I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, then, if, if you're going to keep talking about you got the oldest team, I mean, I mean the youngest team in the nation, I would probably say, and not being the smartest guy that I am, I would probably say, go get some older folks then. So we can stop the so we can stop the narrative that I have the youngest team in the nation. Stop it, Cal. Just stop it. No one wants to hear that right now, man. Because if because if that's gonna be your outlet, then go get older players. Go get some older players there. Simple as that. Because because right now we just don't want to hear it right now, man. We don't want to hear it. It's no longer everybody's Super Bowl no more, man. It's like we can play Kentucky. And not only can we play Kentucky. But we can beat Kentucky. We can beat Kentucky. Absolutely. For real. Oakland coach makes $300,000 a year, and our coach makes $250,000 a game. It is what it is. Cal owes him his salary. And, and Mike, you, you hit it. They're not freshmen no more, man. You're not kids no more, man. You're freshmen when you, when you go to Canada. That's 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 the excuse when you went to Canada. Oh, well, we, we don't know what's gonna happen. We're the youngest team in the nation, so 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 we gotta see how this all pans out. Well, we see how it panned out, but at the at the end of the year, going 23 and 10, 23 and 10, you don't call your freshmen the youngest team in the nation anymore. Did you call them the youngest team in the nation when we beat Tennessee? Did you call them the youngest team in the nation when we were in Auburn off the floor? Did you call him the youngest team in the, in, 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 in the nation when we beat Alabama? No, that that wasn't the narrative. So you got to use the same narrative that you used then, I mean, then that you got to use now. We were some ballers, and we came out, and we played big boy ball then. We just couldn't get it done now. Second round school history. That's it. History was made tonight, and it's embarrassing because once again, once again, the Kentucky Wildcats – would be in some other small schools' history books because of what they just was able to do against the Kentucky Wildcats. This is a night that 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 would live on forever in their history. Is that they was able to knock these guys off? It could be worse. Could be Duke losing the UNC and Coach K uh, last. Oh, uh, that it could be. I don't know. 
I mean, that's pretty up there too. I mean, that's the way to send him off as well. But hey, is this? I'll leave you guys with this. Is this the game that got caught that will get Cal a Perry fired from the Kentucky Wildcats? This team won a global jam. <laughs> it's uh, I don't want to hear excuses, Cal, because um, at Duke, to be honest, why why get freshman and succeed? We I don't know, man. This is um, just makes me sad. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. Hope everyone out there, wherever you at, get home safely. If you're driving, uh, pay attention. Make sure take care of each other. Um, try not to don't don't drink and drive. Be safe. And um, just arrive home safe, okay? So go catch. And it's been real. And thank you, guys. Hot seats. He's oh, he, he's way past the hot seat. He shouldn't even be able to walk on it in the room. It's so hot. Like it's he, the hot seat was coming in this year. Um, so we see what I'm um, finished with the excuses. There, there's no excuses. People got to make hard decisions now. It's it's just no excuses. It, it, it just ain't no excuses. Period. That's just. That's just the bottom line. No excuses. We didn't get it done. And um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. For all you guys who have been supporting me all year long, you guys are awesome. Even down to the end, even on a night like this, you guys still showed up and you guys showed out. And I appreciate each one of you guys. And until next time, go Cats. Because and you've been watching the Loyal BBN Fan Show. Thank you, guys. Follow me on social media. At, on X at Big Mike 2014 23, YouTube, the Loyal BBN fans, and I appreciate the love as well.